Okay, we're really excited here at youdiscovermusic.com because we have Saturday night headliners in the house. It is extreme. Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. It's you. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> so this is the first time you've ever headlined a UK festival. That's true. Did somebody cancel? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody... <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess. It took us, you know, god damn you, it took this long to ask us. I know, fest. what's going on? I don't know. Better with age, I guess? I don't know. You're like a fine wine, yes. exactly. Yes, yes. It took us a while, but we're here, so yeah. we're excited. Yeah, we're excited too. So when you get the call to say, you know, you're going to headline a festival, do you go to yourself, okay, we need to do something special to fill that headlining spot and make, you know, put on a good show? Normally we would, but not from a, a bunch of people who took... 30 years to ask us to oh, do so. Uh, you're so sensitive. <laughs> All yes, right, I'm yes, over it now. I'm over it now. I'm good. I'm good. I got that off my chest. No, we, we look. We uh, we hope to just do a, an amazing show, and because it is a festival, it's not always necessarily your fans, so yeah. to speak. So you you gotta you gotta kind of give them a, a history lesson. That's what you know. We hope. Uh, so okay. a bunch of songs from each album and uh, catch them up. Yeah. So. Um, you talk about your fans. Well, last night I was kept awake. I was in bed thinking I'll get an early night, and what do I hear? More than words. That's, that's a really nightmare. Really loud. That's a nightmare. Really loud. Oh, yeah. The room next to me, they were playing it Why? so loud. Oh, that was us, we were rehearsing. <laughs> yeah. We haven't played, we only played it 3,198,000 so you, times. So you heard it. You heard I it last heard night, it, so yes. we don't have to do it tonight. No, yeah, oh, that, that box you're, you're is here. satisfied. Same hotel, no, it wasn't us. But you, no, no, it wasn't you, but it did remind me of that story you were telling me last time about that song and the, um, the funny places you've heard it. Can you repeat oh. it for everyone here? Oh, you mean just... Uh, when you were, in, you were in a hotel? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when, especially at the height you know, of, of that song, we'd be, in, we'd be on tour anywhere in the world, and sometimes we'd come down for our, our usual early breakfast at 2 p.m., you know, and you'd walk by, these, <laughs> uh, walk by these kind of like function halls and big doors, and you'd hear something familiar, you know, you crack the door a little bit, and you'd look in and you'd see the bride and groom <laughs> dancing to uh, what was more than words. And uh, you kind of, you know, you said to yourself, should I go in? Should I crash it? Should I go and sing? Yeah. And you kind of just you close the door and you say, you know, my work is done here. We can move on. We can move on. The strangest I've heard it was uh, while I was getting my teeth cleaned. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. What else are you up to at the moment? Yeah, uh, we're recording. We're writing a new album. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully release a song by the end of the year, but if not, the whole thing next, next year. And, we've so, been uh, and we expect to be invited 30 years from now again to maybe <laughs> tour that album and then headline a festival. Some of us might not be here. <laughs> Some of us. No. no, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. So, yeah. I mean, you came out um, during an era where bands were really allowed to sort of grow and breathe and sort of explore their sound, which is completely different to now. I mean, how do you, in hindsight, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like, oh, you know, it's changed for the better or the worse? Mm. You know, it, it's it, for the fear of sounding like that old guy going back when, when we were, you know, yeah. it, it's changed. Uh, I'm not sure it's so much for the better for the for the younger artists. Yeah. I mean, if you kind of caught the ones that existed. But uh, back then, I mean, like you said, a, a label would sign you for six albums mm. because they wanted to develop you. You know, and you try to imagine all the great bands that we grew up with, whether it's the Beatles or Zeppelin or anybody yeah. getting one shot you know one album and not not even getting to sergeant peppers or not yeah. even getting to you know those albums so it's i think it's tougher on the younger artists especially with all the x factor the quick kind of roads that you mm -hmm. go should i stay in a basement and actually get become a great artist or should yeah, i just yeah. go for the audition on television and try to become a big star so i think it might you know because if, if you think about it back then if i think of dylan or maybe even Madonna and these people try to audition for those. They, they'd kick them out because they weren't the greatest singers in yeah. the world. Right. But they were, you know, they were legends. You know, yeah, so. it's exactly. a different world. And and back then, to this day, Extreme was always in our own little bubble. We really, we just did what we wanted to do, yeah. regardless. So yeah. I, I don't think it would have mattered uh, today if we came out. We, we might not have had the success, but we'd still be doing the the same stuff. Well, your debut album sold 300,000 mm. copies or something which is a lot was pretty of good, records yeah. but it was at the time it was considered a flop yeah. which is insane was, do you know what it's funny it's right. Con you're right it's considered where the record company goes listen we got a great base yeah. but 300,000 now if you, wow you sold 300,000 that's who's buying albums I don't know who's, but uh, yeah you're, you're absolutely right it, there was there were bands getting dropped in like mid to late 90s when, when downloading started just because if you sold 250,000 it was 
sorry, man. Yeah. You know, next time, better luck next time. But uh, it's insane. And what do you think of your debut now when you listen to it? The debut? Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you? We like do a couple it? songs off of yeah. that record. We but, do a couple songs uh, we can little, tolerate. It's a little dated. I think some of the songs uh, still hold up, but I think it's a. Um, it's like it, looking at an old photograph, right? You know, it's you like looking go, at a high school picture. Yeah. Why did I wear that? What am I doing? But. <laughs> When you, you know, some of the lyrics sometimes sound a bit what young, kind of but we were young. Did I have? You know, yeah. Yeah. the hair sometimes that bi-level perm, the haircut that you might have. <laughs> did you have a perm? Oh my God, are you kidding me? All day, all day. <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone over the weekend that you um, are looking forward to seeing, or anyone that you hope to catch? To rival see? Sons, Rival Sons, Rival Sons. Are you a fan? Love uh, Rival Sons. Great band, Glenn yeah. Hughes. Just we just mm -hmm. played yeah. a, an hour ago. We have a friend of ours that plays in Doc and John Levin, great yeah. guitarists that, that they're on now, and you're making me miss them, but that's okay. But yeah, Rival Sons, man. I, I mean, obviously, good friends with you know, Billy Gibbons, ZZ Top, yeah. you know, but uh, a lot of great and bands. And Extreme. Right? Extreme, yeah, you know. I'd like to see We have it. no I, choice. I hear that quite I'm looking good. forward. You know, the best band live here will be Extreme. I, I hate to admit it, but it will. Do you reckon? It's I all, think so. Yeah, yeah it's all I, I have to say that. I have to say that. So what do you do before you go on? Do you have any pre show rituals? That's. I don't think there's anything we can talk about. Uh, yeah. No. No. It's very personal. You are playing so hard. A lot, a lot of fighting over what songs we're gonna play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you? Do you sort that out just before you're going on, or do you have a tour set <laughs> well, yeah. list? And we that's usually it. have a set list, but we'll have we'll have a we'll have a good little, good little. Dig. I want to do this. I don't want to do that. My solo is better on that song. His voice <clears throat> is better on that song. That kind of stuff. Do you always keep it how it should sound on the record, or do you like to? Like on the day when you're actually playing a song, do you think, actually, I'm going to try this and do it a little bit different? You know, uh, that's a good question, because I think sometimes as when, you, when you're on tour and you play them a lot, you want to do what yeah, you just you said, mix it up. Bored. But for the you audience that it. haven't seen you in two years, I think I used to get bummed if I go see my favorite band and it was, they didn't play that section or that song. Bob or Dylan that. always does that. Uh, he completely yes. changes yeah. it, which is a killer. And it's kind of you a bummer. You can't recognize the song. No. And if you're a super fan and you see them like five cities in a row, great. But if you're not, you kind of go, you don't recognize the song. It's a bit of a bummer. So we try, we try to do a good balanced live version of it, but keep the core there. Keep it there. Okay. Well, listen, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to let you go. Thank you for having us. We're going to go do our rituals. You're going to go do I'm going to come with you. <laughs> okay. okay yeah. Come on, let's go. Well, that's we, we, part let's of us. Do, do it. Extreme. Thanks for hitting Thank the hay guys. with us. We appreciate it.